Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I wanted to um, share a vision that I received from the Lord two mornings ago, and it was pertaining to a white buffalo. And um, this buffalo wasn't like um, anything I've ever seen. Like it was, it was just so beautiful, so perfect, and so white. Um, its fur was as white as snow, and it was without spot or blemish, and um, it sparkled. It sparkled like um, fresh snow um, when the sun hits it, uh, created like a rainbow effect. Like it, it just sparkled like little tiny diamonds were on it. Um, and I know what I thought right off the bat, but, you know, I had to seek the Lord, you know, on it a little more. You know, I prayed and I asked him to allow me to, um, know the true meaning of the vision that he had given me. Um, and I asked the Holy Spirit to assist me, um, in my search because, you know, I started to do a search. Um, concerning it and um, so as I began to search you know it kept bringing me to a lot of Native American beliefs and I'm like no nah, that's not what I'm looking for and you know the search was a little bit difficult like I, it took me like a whole day um, no it took me three it took me this, this is like the third day um, before I actually had full revelation, you know, um, and confirmations to my satisfaction. So, um, I did consult a brother in Christ on this also, but what I did manage to see, like, as I was, um, looking through on my own, um, with the Native American beliefs, it's like, uh, the same way we feel about the coming of Christ, that's the same way that they feel about this white buffalo. So it is pretty prophetic. And um, my brother in Christ, I asked him, you know, what did he feel in his spirit pertaining to um, the vision? You know, the fact that it's a white buffalo. And he said the first thing that came to mind was New Jerusalem at first. And then he thought about it and he said, well, let's pray. Let's continue to pray on it. So um, I continued to pray on it. He continued to pray on it. And then... He presented me with a few things, and uh, the first thing he presented me with was the definition of buffalo, and the definition of buffalo, well, um, this is not the full definition, but these were things that popped out um, to him, and it was um, alarm, and uh, which, <laughs> this is what's going on right now, you know, we are sounding the alarm you know, to the world and let him, letting them know that Jesus is coming. And then Jesus is also sounding the alarm to us to let him know that we need to get ready. And um, then overall, overall, he said possibly the tendency um, for the animal um, to mass panic and everything. You know, in a way, it, yes, it is a, you know, we want to get, we want to be ready. You know, because that time is now. And um, and then the related words, buffaloed, buffaloing, you know, and that's the gathering together, you know. Um, so he did mention the book of Enoch. That's going to be another video. And, um, and the book of Enoch speaks of a white bullock. And the white bullock in the book of Enoch symbolize, symbolizes Noah. So I thought that was pretty awesome. But like I said, you know, um, that's going to have to be another video because <laughs> something really awesome happened during my search in that area. But um, when it comes down to it, um, I believe that Jesus is showing me um, the ark. Not to say that this giant buffalo is going to come and we're all going to pile up on it and ride to heaven. What I'm saying is that 
you know, giving you the symbolizations. And then the fact that this buffalo represents the ark, like Noah's ark. And um, its coat, its fur um, being white as snow and sparkling is the bride, pure and perfect and ready and ready. I feel like the Lord is saying that it it's that time. And this is just the way that I feel. The whole time that I was doing this, the Holy Spirit has been on me and I have been feeling the anointing like, you know, I, it, you know, the feeling of the oil pouring over my head and down my face, like heavily, heavily. And I know that something is happening because ever since I had this vi this vision, that's how I've been feeling. That's been my experience. Like the Holy Spirit has been on me so heavy like this. Um, praise God. Blessed is the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Mashiach, the King of all kings the Lord of all lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending and the first and the last, the one who came by blood and water and flesh and who died on the cross and who paid the price so that all of our sins would be forgiven and washed away clean, who rose from the dead three days later and ascended to heaven, death's firstborn, who now sits on the right hands of the side of Father God, praise Jesus, hallelujah. It is time, it is time, it is time, it is time, it is time. He is so close, he is so close. Praise and glory to the Most High God. Be ready, please be ready, please be ready, everyone. And if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please seek him. He is waiting for you with open arms. He loves you. Confess and repent and forgive. He is coming. 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 I love you guys. Continue to pray for one another. Continue to seek the Lord. Continue. Oh, just continue to be supportive of one another. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. He is coming. Please be ready. Please be ready. I will see you all soon.